What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm gonna get out ahead of the story because I get a feeling in the next few days and weeks this is going to be the um, brunt of many, many hot takes from around hockey Twitter. Because um, one thing I found about the internet in my you know years on this planet is that the internet is the ultimate cesspool, and uh, hockey Twitter is the best personification of that. Um, you, you, you got crazy right wingers, and then you know the, the liberal hockey Twitter sucks. Like nothing I've ever seen. And that's coming from a pretty moderate, you know, political guy here. Anyway, as we all know, J.C. Brown raised a fist, and, you know, as a symbol solidarity during the national anthem a few weeks ago during a game against the Florida Panthers. Um, J.C. being one of I think 35 black players in the NHL that you know raised some some ire in a predominantly white sport. You know, with the, don't do that on our time. You know, fuck you. Uh, the guy wasn't. The guy didn't disrespect anything. And then, you know, you saw the dialogue out of the Tampa Police Department. I, I, JT Brown has done more to help people in this country than your average fucking social justice warrior. Either conservative or liberal behind a computer. You know, that's that's just a fact of life. Um, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things. He hasn't played since that night. He's played one game on the season for the Lightning. And, you know, obviously... W Let's not make the mistake of thinking he's Nikita Kucherov. I like Brown as a player. I think he is a very good bottom six forward in the NHL. He hasn't played in two weeks, and you know the hot takes are, you know, you got the one side. Oh, uh, John Cooper is teaching this kid respect. Well, first of all, he's 27 years old with a wife and a kid, so teaching a kid anything is not exactly a wife and a child. I should say to be more politically correct. And then you got the oh, he's getting punished. This is this is an outrage. It's like no. I, They've been going with seven defensemen, and quite frankly, again, if you're gonna scratch a forward, I mean, that's that's the guy you scratch, JT Brown. I, you know, I, I'm not trying to say he shouldn't be in the lineup for the Lightning, but they're playing some damn good hockey without him. Um, and do I think his sitting in the press box has anything to do with the the fist or the anthem? No, I don't. And uh, you know, I just think both sides got to kind of get a grip of themselves. Um, and, you know, kind of just look at the big picture. He's a bottom six forward in the NHL. Yeah, he made a statement. Um, and he's one of the few guys, I think, that puts that money where their mouth is, literally and probably speaking, in terms of affecting change in the United States and, and, you know, beyond. And I think he's one of, like, six black American players, African American players, to, to again, be more politically correct. Um, so he is really a minority within a minority. Um, and I, I applaud him for what he's done to help you know, combat racial injustice and, you know, the, the racial tension that exists in our country. Um, you know, he's, he's a good young man, good player. I just to think that he's not in the lineup because of this is stupid and a perfect personification of how much Twitter can absolutely fucking suck. I, I, you look, I love searching things once in a while when I'm drunk and sober. Um, and that's, you search, you punch in JT Brown's name on Twitter, and you get more takes than you can imagine by people, most of whom have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. So, in terms of life in the United States and life, you know, in the NHL and all that other shit, you know. And, the, and again, do I know what I'm talking about? Probably not. But I, I continue to uh, spew my opinions. Again, JT Brown, good player. The fact he's not in the lineup has nothing to do with his anthem protest. Or again, I'm not even calling it a protest. It's not. It was a statement more than a protest. You know, pro a protest is disrespectful. I think. I think a statement. Um, you know, via the 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 raised fist uh, was I think respectful, and uh, he's done a lot to help you know people in the in the community of Tampa and beyond. So that's that's my two cents on the matter. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes.